Hey guys, I'm Meredith Baker reporting for On The Map, Off The Radar. And today we have our first ever environmental On The Map, Off The Radar. We have chief scientist for an expedition to the Himalayas, Ollie Forrester with us, to talk about glacial lake outburst floods. But he's gonna explain to us the broad climate change relevance to all of this. So to start off, can you tell us about the kind of climate change issues going on in the Himalayas right now? Yeah, so the Himalayas are a really complex region in terms of understanding climate change. Um, ultimately, it's really important because a billion people in India and Asia depend on the, the future of glaciers in that region. For their water source. For their water source. Um, it's a complex picture, climate change in the Himalayas, but at the moment, glaciers are shrinking in most places, except in one region, which is where we're going to be focusing on, which is called the Karakoram in Pakistan. And can you tell us what you'll be doing while you're there on this expedition? Sure, yeah, so whilst we're there, we're going to be investigating something called the Karakoram Anomaly, which is this mysterious phenomenon which describes growing glaciers in this region of the Himalayas. Um, and this is important because, firstly, it affects the water security of, uh, of hundreds of millions of people in Pakistan in the future. And secondly, for more immediate reasons, which is that the Karakoram anomaly might be increasing uh, the susceptibility of people to a natural hazard in the area, which is unique to mountainous areas mm -hmm. called glacial lake outburst flooding. And um, can you explain the flooding a little bit more and what happens yeah. And also, are there other examples of other places it's happened around the world? Sure. So, a glacial lake outburst floods occur when glaciers start to melt and water accumulates near their, their end. Mm -hmm. um, and the water is ultimately held back by a dam which is made of ice. And so, if that ice dam breaches, then all of the water surges downstream, a bit like a tsunami. And you can, you can have amazing increases in the volumes of streams. So it will be a small mountain stream, and then suddenly it can be 30 meters deep and full of rock and ice. And it so really dangerous downstream. for people in that region. Exactly, they're really destructive. And you had mentioned to me before that um, other places, like such as in the United States, there have been glacial like outburst floods before, but there are structures in place there to mitigate yeah. the effects and what are those structures? Yeah, so they have technologies which are available in more developed countries um, where they have early warning systems for these glacial lake outburst floods. So the stream will be, um, this technology will be put in the stream mm -hmm. so that if a glacial lake outburst floods happen, it will warn villages downstream and give people time to evacuate. And that's what's missing in the Karakoram. Mm -hmm. um, and so we wanna work out how we can firstly understand the glacial lake outburst hazard and secondly, if we can develop like solutions that are appropriate for the Karakoram. And because as you mentioned, it supplies that area of the Himalayas supplies water to a billion people. Um, so what are some of the contentious issues um, around the water supply of this area? And what has been something that has been obscured or underreported in mainstream media coverage of this aspect of climate change in the Himalayas? Yeah, so politically the area is really sensitive. Um, which has meant that scientists don't typically get to go there. It's also incredibly remote. So to get there is going to take days of internal flights and then trekking over land through this incredible mountainous region. Um, but the Karakoram is where China, India and Pakistan all meet. And as you guys probably know, that's a really politically sensitive place. So operating in those areas presents a lot of challenges. Wow. Well, this has been so interesting seeing how climate change politics, um, all in water supply to people interact. Thank you so much for coming on On The Map, Off The Radar, and we will include some links below for further reading for you guys. Thanks for watching.